Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a portable Windows 10 or 11 USB on an M1 Mac. Let's get started. In order to create a portable Windows 10 USB on a Mac, there are a couple requirements that you need. The first thing you'll need is a USB flash drive with at least 16 gigabytes of free storage, but ideally 32. You'll also need a working Windows 10 or 11 VM on your Mac. If you don't know how to set this up, I have a full video on this that I'll link in the description. The first thing we want to do is, of course, plug in our USB, and we're going to open up Disk Utility, and we're going to select our USB here. We're going to click Erase, and we're going to format it as XFAT, and we can choose a name. And click Done. And the next thing we want to do is open up our Windows 10 or 11 VM. So once you've logged into your Windows 11 or 10 VM, we can open up a web browser, and you're going to want to download a program called Rufus, and we're going to download the version for ARM, because we're on an M1 Mac. If your VM is x86 for some reason, you can just choose the x86 version, but ours is ARM, so we're just going to download the ARM version. So the next thing we need to do is to download the Windows ISO. And because we're on a Windows device, we can download the installation media tool. And what this will do is give us a little GUI for managing our Windows ISOs. We're going to accept the legal terms. We're going to choose create installation media. And we're going to choose our product information. So right now it's using the recommended options, but we can always customize it. Um, we choose our language, our edition, and then our architecture. Because we downloaded this install tool, it only supports x86. Because the ARM version is an insider preview that is only available as a VM format. So we're stuck with just using x86. We want to click ISO file because if we click flash drive, it's going to burn an installer. What we want to do is we want to make a portable one. So we're going to choose ISO file and we're going to download this into our downloads. So it looks like it's done making the ISO file. So we can just click on finish. We can close web browser. And now we want to open up files and open up Rufus. So here's Rufus, and you might see that the device field is empty. And the reason is because right now our USB is mounted to our Mac instead of our Windows VM. So to mount it, we just need to go into the UTM toolbar, click on this USB devices menu, and we can choose our USB disk. I'll click allow. And then here's our USB, just like that. We're gonna choose disk or ISO image and we're going to click on select and we're going to grab the ISO file we just made and click open. So now what we want to do is click on image option and change it to windows to go and we can change our volume label to something like windows and we're going to click start. Now we want to choose the version of windows we're installing so we're just going to choose home, click OK. I recommend checking this box. That means that all the like SSD files and everything is not accessible by the Windows installation. I also recommend disabling data collection because Microsoft sucks and they always want to collect data. So we're going to click that and we're going to click OK. And we're going to click OK. So the USB has finished creating. So we could just close Rufus and we can eject the Windows USB from our VM and then we can remove it from the USB menu. And now we've successfully made a portable Windows USB. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.